happy Wednesday again! It has been two weeks since my mommy makeover and um, I would know I was posting videos like almost every day uh, that first week. There's a lot going on and changing um, and then it kind of stabilizes out so there hasn't been as much to post but the main reason why I haven't posted anything in the last week is because my phone which I was using to make my videos and then hit the easy upload to YouTube that's where they aren't edited my phone just it just crashed so it's been um, less than fun like I guess the good news is I'm laying around I don't have to work and I don't you know but I love my phone I'm on it all the time so to not have my phone has been ugh as we all feel when we lose our phones. Um, and then I made the mistake of trying to do a factory reset, which, which actually seemed like a good idea. Runs, It was running smooth, and then it just went right back to the same problem, but I accidentally erased all of my contacts. So, everybody, so unfortunate. So, um, if you're watching this and you know me and you know that I would want your number, text it over to uh, my number or message me you know, on Facebook, on Messenger, so that I can put your number back in my will-be-new phone soon. The S7, the Samsung S7 comes out in two days, so I may just wait two more days and then go get that. But we'll see. So, anyhow, updates. Um, I'm doing well. I feel like I've kind of, like I said, hit this point. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely healing better every day. Things are getting a little less painful every day. Um, my incisions are doing a little bit better every day. Uh, what's been really hard is not wanting to just eat and eat and eat and eat. <laughs> my sister was here and she made me some really good meals. My mom was here the first week. My sister was here for several days after that and she was making the best food. And... Um, and uh, anyway, so I ate really well while she was here, and then after she left, I just want to keep eating well. So that's been a very hard thing, is not overeating while I'm sitting around. But I was doing some research, and before I had my tummy tuck and all this surgery, I was in excellent shape, like the best shape of my life. I didn't go do this to lose fat off my tummy or... Um, no, you know, I didn't have any lipo or anything like that. I was very thin, but very muscular, and so in this, it's very hard to sit around and know that my muscles are dwindling away and my cardio level is, you know, going to pot. But um, I was researching that, you know, initially I was thinking I would just not eat. A whole lot just eat minimal and maybe use this as a time to drop body fat but then I quickly realized that's not what you want to do when you're recovering and you want to be at a maintenance level if not slightly surplus but more like maintenance so you want to get enough protein and you definitely don't want to be in a deficit because all your body's gonna do is eat your muscles and that's exactly what I don't want to lose but I already feel them I'm like they're just shrinking away so, um, I can't, oh well, it's okay. If it heals my body faster, so, I will rest everything um, else. I'm able to easily get around pretty easily. So if I overdo it, my stomach starts tightening. It still hurts to sneeze, hurts to cough. Um, anything with my abs doesn't, it still doesn't feel good laughing. Don't laugh too much. Uh, what else? I'm still sleeping in the recliner, but I think I'm ready to go back into the bed. It's just I'm concerned that I'm just going to be wanting to shift all night and the pillows aren't going to be quite right and, you know, all that stuff. But another big thing I've contended with is swelling in my abdomen. I mean, I'm twice as big in my midsection as I was before the surgery. I was very thin before. Maybe I'll stick a picture in here. Maybe I won't. But my abdomen's humongous. And then I have to wear this binder on top of it that just makes me look 
huge, so I'm not feeling very attractive at all. I feel like a still slightly hunched over, but trying not to be um, pregnant, like a, not, not pregnant, kind of, like maybe like I might be pregnant, or I, I seem very feeble because I'm like, oh, I gotta walk, it's kind of slow, <sighs> but it pulls. It pulls up front if I don't walk carefully. So, um, so there's that. But my binder, I will show you. Let me show you this binder here. I'll show you just what I mean. Here is my lovely binder. When I say lovely, I mean ugly. That's what I mean. And see how fat I look in it? Mm -hmm. There it is. And if you're thinking I don't look fat, well, then it's not displaying it to look accurately. Huge. There we go. I was extremely thin. This is not thin. But that's the binder. And I might as well show you my abs. While I'm at it, let me make sure I'm appropriate. Just a minute. Here we go. I am swollen. I was out today doing my taxes, evil taxes. See how swollen I am? It's pretty crazy. I don't know why I'm so swollen. Uh, but there it is. I did put a piece of silicone tape here. I do have paper tape still here. I am swollen, very swollen here. And uh, see it's lumped over there. Hopefully that'll go away. Oh my gosh, it's so numb. It feels so funny. And um, of course now I have lines. Oh gosh, that looks horrible. I've really got that binder on tight, but um, I'm swollen in my back, and um, and then I have, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm looking like. But I still think it's gonna look really good when it's all better. And then my chest is doing really well, and no more giant boob. Um, I'm really happy with the way that's looking, and my incisions, my. Uh, if you remember, I had said that my my right nipple was really angry after surgery. I was like, is it going to fall off? It was ugh, it was really dark and ended up getting kind of black on the end, black all the way around, black. Oh, my gosh, I was a little bit worried, but it just ended up scabbing, and it's not all the way off yet, but it's going to be okay. Um... My old belly button line, where I had the silicone tape, that's going to be non-existent. That's such a fine stitching. I mean, it can't, you can't even see it. Uh, my tummy tuck incision looks really good. I think that's going to end up being a really nice, fine white line, hopefully. I have tried on some bikini bottoms, and it's a little bit above them, or right at them. But I am really big, so I'm hoping that when I when I get back down to my normal size maybe it'll just go right to them or, or just below but if not that's okay you know um, I'm still really happy it's gonna look it's flat and all that baggy saggy skin is gone here we go here's me sitting I'll just show you don't mind all my trashy room it's hard to get down and pick stuff up but anyways just wanted to give you an update Have a great day bye